Low carb diets decrease body weight. Oh, you wanted actual evidence or not. And I just destroyed my retention on this video. Well, if that was good enough, then at least engage with the video and before leaving and leave one of these. And you're welcome. If you want actual data to back that statement, let's look at many, many, many studies in a short amount of time. Let's go. Learn your body, a science-based education. Those many studies consist of 13 that I read and analyzed myself. But along with that, we'll be using an analysis of 100 studies to bolster the point. Beyond that, I'll separate out if that's true for men and for women, along with roughly how much weight you can expect to lose, the mechanisms explaining the weight loss, and then I'll put a bow on it at the end with a big takeaway. Since new data can always change our perspective, if there is an updated video, I will link it for you. Watch that one instead. And if you don't see anything, then this is the current stance. If that sounds good to you, let's science. The low carbohydrate diets implemented across these studies were a variety, around 15% of the total diet down to less than 5%. Obviously, all the diets were mostly focused on dietary fat to fulfill their energy requirements. That means that if participants were consuming 1,800 kilocalories for the day and they were consuming 5% of that in the form of carbohydrates, they'd be consuming only 90 kilocalories or 22.5 grams for the day. That said, of the initial 13 studies I analyzed, men and women, nine of them showed a distinctive weight loss from the low carb diets. And the reason the other studies didn't show a reduction is merely because the studies were designed to avoid weight loss. So generally speaking, low carb diets definitely lead to weight loss. And I might as well add that when we separate the data out by sex, the evidence suggests it shows an effect, relatively speaking, for women as men. As for the amount of weight lost, there are a number of factors that come into play. If you are a man, overweight, or on a designed low kilocalorie version, you will lose more weight typically. So I'm going to throw out some numbers, but just know it's going to vary significantly from person to person, yet no doubt you will experience weight loss to some degree. In overweight men, there were reports as much as 12 kilograms over six months. Overweight women, there were lower reports of 8.5 kilograms over six months, but most of the weight loss occurred in the first three months. So for people who aren't overweight, weight loss was far more mild, around two to three kilograms, independent of sex. Now to round out the data and cap this, the data from the meta-analysis showed exactly the same. There was weight loss on low carb diets, even over one and two years time although weight loss plateaus over some time. Again, all of this is contingent on sticking with the nutrition details. If this has been helpful to you up to this point, consider subscribing if you haven't. And if you already have, well, smash the like button or share the content, you know, all that good stuff, YouTuber stuff. Thanks. Uh, now let's discuss the mechanisms for this weight loss. I don't think there's a doubt some, if not a majority, of that weight loss will come from fat tissue as you release fat molecules from your fat cells primarily. That is mediated by low insulin levels from reduced carbohydrate intake, which normally stimulates insulin release from the pancreas. And as insulin blocks the release of fat from fat cells, lower levels would be permissive for fat loss. Another reason is due to, in most of the diets, there was an increase in ketones as fat molecules from the diet and fat loss are processed by the liver to be converted to ketones. Ketones have effects on reducing hunger, thereby reducing the consumption and spurring fat loss. Now, not that these two mechanisms are all encompassing, but they're major aspects. But the weight loss isn't just fat and is most definitely also made up of water. Here, glycogen or stored carbohydrates in the muscles and liver attract water. So the loss of glycogen also dumps the attracted water. This is again mediated by massively reduced carbohydrate intake as carbohydrates are, that are stored are used up in metabolism and not replaced due to low dietary intake. So the loss of water is significant as well as the loss of body fat. 
We now understand some of the mechanisms, the data trends across over, well, 100 studies. And we can say with a high degree of certainty that a low carbohydrate diet can lead to significant weight loss, especially if you're overweight. But you may be interested to know if low carbohydrate diets are superior for weight loss and fat loss than high carb diets. Could you still eat that perfect baguette bread and lose similar weight? Well, I have the answer for you right here. And with that, I'll speak to you there. Bye.